Okay. All right. So obviously you can see right off the bat he's got the reach advantage. Oh, can I say? Yeah. This is my, my pet peeves about spear right here. Is this one? Okay. This is the research I've done and playing with it. I got a six foot weapon. I've just now made it a three foot weapon. Okay. So kind of dumb. It will lead me to this. Okay. The spear's in a good spear. We counterbalance back here, so the balance point is actually here. So it's not all that heavy. But now. Come on. <laughs> now, now, one of the other things that Kyle and I are also studying and going to be writing on after we get the gladiatorial book uh, is on uh, ancient Greek combat. And again, you see that illustration of them holding the spears like he was showing you. And from the historical evidence, that's wrong because they mentioned coming in and stabbing and then coming with a high line attack. There's no way you're going to do a stab like that. You're not going to have capability to switch it around with a bunch of guys right next to you in a tight family. But you see he's holding the spear in that trip. It gives him the ability to shoot it out and bring it back. If he has to, he can bring it around if he's got to make a cut. You'll notice that the, design, the tip design is such that it's wide enough that he can actually have a really good cutting edge on there, which really sucks. <laughs> 